Nigeria can rest key players for the semi-final. The other team in question today are Senegal, who've never beaten Nigeria in competition before. And it's also a match between German and Dutch coaches. The Lions coach, German Peter Sticker, in a typically pragmatic, Germanic fashion, has stated that the mental attitude of his team and team spirit is what will win this game today. And this surprisingly brought a noddy agreement from the Dutchman, Joe Bonfret. And expect that, though, to be the only thing they agree on this afternoon. Team news, well, Sunday Elisa has recovered from malaria, but he's picked up a slight ankle injury. He won't play, nor will Victor at Piba. He flew back to Germany at the back end of last week after falling out with Bonfrey about uh, not playing for Morocco. And the surprise is that Julius Aghahal, who played so well against Morocco, won't play instead. It will be Benedict Akurebu. Team news then for Senegal. Fans critical at home. So do the papers about the absence of uh, Salif Keita and Ibrahim Manitoure. Keita scored five goals in the qualifiers and rumours rife of a fallout there. Stuttgart uh, though has relented on the presence of Musa and Pape Ndaye. Nigeria then lining up a flat 4-4-2. Nothing surprising about their formation at all. Kanu and Akwebu playing up front. Now Senegal, very defensive formation. 16 City Bart will play in the centre of a five-man defence. Number nine, Papa Ndaye standing just in front of the five-man defence with uh, just three across the midfield. Traore, who's... Uh, not been playing regularly without a club these days, Chayori. Musa Ndaye in central midfield and uh, Fadiga out wide. And the lone man up front, the number seven, is Henry Kamara, also the top scorer with two goals so far. Well, it's not only those in the know, it's even the Senegalese newspapers, the headline of which today said this is the biggest mismatch so far in the African Nations Cup. But the mental attitude, as the German coach stated, of Senegal, Peter Schnitger will be important. And uh, those who were foolish enough to suggest that perhaps Nigeria should rest some players, well, maybe we've been waiting for a big shock all the way through this tournament. Maybe this is it. Really given absolutely no hope here today. And Nigeria proclaiming themselves through their own uh, press releases as the best African team in this tournament. 21 is uh, Opara, and why this is Zokonowo. 8 is Adipoju. They look so comfortable on the ball, but they really did incur the wrath of their supporters during the nil-nil draw with Congo. A very, very uninspiring performance that came after the 4-2 beating of Tunisia. And it's so often the case with Nigeria. A wonderful performance is often followed by something much less. Adipoju. Okono. Kanu forward on the ball now. Plenty of white shirts behind the ball. Bebe Fal and Papa Dion giving away the free kick. Went across the goal and almost into the back of the net. And uh, Aguebu escaping his marker. Uh, really should have been number one. Well, Aguero answering a couple of critics. He was widely considered to be the one who was going to make way for the Agahara. Performed not only miracles on the field, but in the goal celebrations with a five backflip, five somersaults. But he starts on the bench, so Aguebu has got things to prove. There he is. Ten 
and Sammy over the ball, JJ Okacha. No doubt when it's within striking distance, any dead ball situation around the penalty area. The number 10 will be favourite to take. Whoops it across the goal and no problem for Diallo. Few worrying signs though early on, despite the numerical advantage that uh, Senegal have at the back. Nigeria skipping through an often uh, fairly flat looking defence. Shove in the back on uh, Kamara, goes unpunished. Babiano with the throw. Okanowu. Finidi George. Losing possession in the middle of the field. Musa Ndaye. And the challenge is fairly flying in. And this time penalised Fadiga. Kalulu Fadiga of Fessi Bruges in Belgium. Turned down. Numerous call-ups last year. And again, another wild and rash challenge. But still, the referee choosing not to show a yellow card. Still a surprise to some that uh, Fadiga did, in fact, take the offer to play for Senegal. And indeed, the yellow card is coming out now. But it was for persistent descent afterwards. City Bar going into the referee's notebook. Fadiga, just going back to the story, married a Belgian girl and was rumoured to be about to be offered Belgian citizenship, which would have given him a chance to play in the European Championship had they picked him. He's been pretty impressive for Bruges all season. But he chose the chance to come here instead. And uh, grateful is Nitka. There's Vanidi George looking for the run of Carno. You can see straight through the middle there. Okacha was just behind the ball, not falling particularly kindly for either Diop. Again, a lot of white shirts congregating in and around the ball, very little space, and uh, the passing not particularly accurate. They're slow to get it away, but... ...managed this time. But again, losing possession with relative ease midway inside the Nigerian half. Finidi George. 13 is Babangida. Good ball by Babangida. Kanu has made a run into the centre. They can get the ball across. Just too high for Kanu. Babangida. No longer these days a regular in the uh, Ajax lineup. Been replaced in his uh, position by Brian Ladrup. Uh, for the first time for, it must be something around 20, 25 years, Ajax these days playing with two strikers up front, enough to make Louis van Gaal turn on his uh, bench at Barcelona, the thought of them. Ndaye. Duff. In the centre is uh, Fadiga. Good control on the chest, that's a good volley and that's a great goal by Fadiga. What a start for Senegal. What a start that is. Brilliantly controlled on the chest and what about that for a finish. Cool, very calm and the goalkeeper had little option to just watch the ball go rolling past him into the back of the net. Well, for some, surely that may be justice done. All the pre-match build-up. Nobody really gave Senegal any chance whatsoever, even their own press at home. And maybe now we've got the makings of a great quarter-final here. Nigeria are really up against it. The 
keep quiet inside this stadium. Adi Boju. Nigeria finding it really difficult at the moment. There seem to be almost double the number of white shirts who there are green and there's another chance here and I is through well an opportunity wasted there could have taken the ball on and given the keeper much less chance than he was given and he bowed you oh catch up and onside well there was no flag Duff. Alfaro's ball. Finidi George played very deep still. Just look at the number of uh, green shirts inside their own half. The midfield closing down and covering really well at the moment. And despite the fact that Nigeria are enjoying the greater share of possession. It's not in a position that is likely to do any damage at the moment. Off Kanoru. Kanu sticks out a leg, but he's too slow because uh, Foul gets in a leg. Seven is Kamara. Now one against one. What could he do? Kamara inside the penalty area, still going. And Tope takes it wide. Uh, three yellow cards so for far for Nigeria, top of the fair play table. Shows the speed in which the competition has been played in more than anything. This is uh, a catcher with the free kick now. Bamangida in the middle. 13 going into the centre. Well, missed it all. And that was Finidi George trying to bit spectacular. And that's Kanu. again doing really well to create some space where there was very little and Senegal since the goal has been scored have been happy to just sit back and allow Nigeria to come at them not the best policy you would imagine Babangida round one and into the side netting Bamboyaro was there as well, it was in a good position if they got the ball through now, a wild swing of the ball by Papa Diab and they play on, Babangida, well, well, well wide. Uh, he's been mixing it a bit, Pierre Babangida, he's switched from the right to the left but it's ultimately been a disappointing first half for Nigeria, they've been restricted really the best chance has come from Agurebu from a catcher's cross early on. Okano looking to try and tee up on the edge of the penalty area, but again it was curling wide of Diallo's goal. And the only real worry there for the keeper that he was uh, partially unsighted. And uh, had it taken a deflection, he could have ended up... a bit of an embarrassing position for him but they surely can't be satisfied with just two attempts on goal Senegal in the first half even though they are in the lead they are surely in this second half Nigeria aren't going to be quite as poor as they've been in this first a catcher trying to one two with Kanu but again that will be just guided out of play Certainly the band have rediscovered some volume. That's the Senegalese bench. Peter Schnitke, the German coach. Been around in African football for 30 odd years now. And the uh, free kick given against Stadio Boju. Never a great player, Schnitke semi-professional with uh, Hanover
but his preparation, you would have to say, from a defensive point of view, has been absolutely perfect. They've nullified any of the danger that Nigeria looked as if they were about to create. The only danger for them is that they sit back and don't create at all in the second half. Nigeria, last winners in 1994. They were outright favourites to lift the African Nations Cup this time around in the year 2000. But they've got to come from behind in this quarter-final against Senegal here in Lagos in order to stay in with a chance. The winners here will play South Africa in the semi-final. A match you can see live here on Thursday. This really would be the biggest shot of the tournament by an absolute mile. Senegal sat back in the first half, offered very little as an attacking force, couple of chances, falling to uh, Kamada, who really did uh, power lone thrower up front on his own. There was little support with him. The midfield was uh, well, a little reluctant, to say the least, to actually make it over the halfway line. Now, what is the policy for the second half? Are they going to try and hang on in there, or are they going to take the fight to Nigeria? This is Kanu. Kanu looking for somebody to tee up on the edge of the penalty area. That's JJ Okacha. And uh, Sidiba and Diop. Traore. Possession is, uh, well, possession is simply conceded. Okada. Okacha. Nice little turn by uh, JJ Okacha. Flag had been raised. Well, the Nigerian coach who coached the side to great success of course in the Olympic Games in 1996 this was not the game plan Finidi George Kanu was uh, unmarked as he went into the six yard area there certainly Papa Phil slow to pick up the run of Kanu well, luckily for him the ball never found him Ten on the near post, defending is Fadiga. Nine at the back is Papengaye. Across it comes, looking for the number 19, Aguiobu. And how long is it before we're going to see the arrival of Agahora? The goal hero of the match in Morocco, a match they had to win. They wait until the odds are stacked against them sometimes, the Nigerians, before really turning on the style and then literally sat there saying well what were you worried about we knew we'd do it now this is Kamara only Kamara still going Kamara this is surely a goal what a miss well he's not a striker Pabende and uh, that's the reason why that should have been goal number two and really, Nigeria living on a knife edge there. That's a good challenge. Good play by Diop. And we're going to need all that coolness. Still, Nigeria enjoying a lot of possession here inside. Uh, the Senegal half down goes Kanu and a free kick has been given. Arms raised. The challenge from Fadiga from behind. And once again, the dead ball specialist. JJ Okacha, two goals so far. Can he make it three? Goes it over the top, and it's off the crossbar. And Diallo was but a spectator there. The wall really didn't do his job. A gaping great hole to the right of the wall. And an invitation gratefully accepted from uh, Okacha. Unlucky though. And he's at 
uh, little to do in terms of saving shots on goals, sure and good. Taribo West, these days of course of AC Milan after a free transfer across town during the uh, open transfer period in Serie A. Vinidi George. Canu. Ocaccia in front of him, but good play once again by Papadiop. Driving Canu almost back to his own halfway line. That's good play by the defender. Finally, a little bit more success with uh, the passing that they were toward the end of the first half. Ocaccia turning that ball around. Babangida leaving it. Canu is there. Still going, Kanu looking to try and dig it through. This is a goal. Oh, no, it isn't. That is a quite awful finish by Aguero. And he knows it. Brilliantly conceived out of absolutely nothing. And Aguero, if they go out at this stage, will look back on that as a crucial miss. Substitutes warming up on the uh, touchline. Number 14, Emmanuel Amoniki. Years almost since he's played. Never looked really confident going forward at times of the uh, Senegal. Always one eye on uh, the defensive role. very aware of the potential danger of the side in front of them. Tackling there at the back for Senegal has been clean and very true for most of the game so far. Uh, it's got to remain so. Stoyville West. Canidi George dropping very deep. Abby Boju. Kanu. That's a great ball by Kanu. JJ Akacha. Oh, they thought it was in. This is the first real chance Okaja has had in this second half. Again, massive power in the shot. Substitution for Senegal. Number six, Sene, defensive midfielder. This is football in uh, Tunisia. Is on for Traore, who's uh, been battling really for match fitness. Big favourite is Serie oh, what about that? That's great play now. Blasted it wide again. JJ Akacha created once more. Something from absolutely nothing. Yeah. Probably a few will be wondering why he can't do that in the league as well. This is uh, Amoniki. Keeper comes out, the keeper's injured there. Diallo has taken a bad knock. And the game will be halted whilst the Senegal keeper takes some medical attention. Literally barged to the floor. Time though is running out and running out fast for Nigeria. And they're not going to hurry this one up, are they? decided to stay on his line here. K 
Zamora. Oh, wasted again. And really a chance to kill the match. Stone dead for Nigeria. And they've had two good chances in the second half and really the match should have been out of sight. And Kahala has been really busy. You can see him buzzing across the edge of the uh, penalty area, the number 17. Long ball forward, keep it stead on his line, and that's the equalising goal, and watch the celebration. And Kahawa, three minutes remaining, and Nigeria are back from the brink. Well, it was a gamble leaving him out of the side, that's for sure, at the beginning. Senegal have really paid the price, those two misses and really a failure to offer much of anything in the second half apart from defending to keep it Diallo looked as though he was uh, sent it by his own players there cleared further by uh, Sidi Ba oh, Kacha's ball in dangerous times now in these final seconds here Amoniki trying to tee up Kanu they're still all in there and that was uh, a little wider than it looked from here, I'm sure. And again, Montreal well, looking as if uh, it was a little wasted, that from Vinny Di George. Wasn't fit to play the full 90 minutes, Sunday Elise. But he's added still further strength to a side which on paper really should have beaten Senegal out of sight but so far they've held firm in these final few minutes extra time is imminent still waiting for this corner to be taken and a poor delivery and there is the final whistle. 90 minutes are up here in Lagos. It's not how it was supposed to be. The biggest mismatch in the African Nations Cup, they said. And that was in Senegal. But the Senegalese have proved them wrong. And if they'd taken those two chances that fell to them in the second half, they would have been in the semi-finals now. That's the man that has dug Nigeria out of a very big hole indeed. Welcome back then to Lagos. This final quarter-final match in the African Nations Cup. We have extra time here. The winners will face South Africa in the semi-final on Thursday. A match you can see live here. And the other match, Cameroon against uh, Tunisia, and you will be able to see that match as well later on on Thursday evening. Nigeria only know one way to play. And you can't imagine their style changing in this first period of extra time, but certainly Senegal now have to come out and do it all over again. They got lucky in the... Uh, first half of this match they've shown they've got the ability to create chances and cause danger certainly the uh, Nigerian defense has not looked watertight this evening and uh, if they it's still a little more belief in themselves which I'm sure Peter Schnittgut will have given them a talk during the uh, short break we had here before the restart they've got to go looking for a second goal now is of course unless they want to play for uh, penalty kicks it is not the goal goal I will remind you it is 15 minutes each way and uh, almost caught the keeper napping there shot of Musa uh, Ndaye not seen enough of him really but they've looked a little light in midfield with uh, just three across the middle concentration solely defensive Adi Boju 
Seven is Vinny Di George. Akahawa is on the edge of the penalty area. If they can get the ball in, that's uh, Amoniki getting in across. And here he is, and it's going to be another goal. And it's that man again. Off he goes to do the five somersault celebration. And Akahawa. Brilliantly timed run. Now, maybe now that the crowd obviously think that it's a golden goal here. They've streamed onto the field. That was sublime control by uh, Agahawa to bring that ball under control. But there is a problem here. They need rapid communication from somewhere to inform these fans if that is what they believe because it's all fairly good humoured, there's nothing violent about this whatsoever and I'm sure they believe that this is a golden goal and they are not happy, the Senegalese. There is the hero of the hour. Now, there's a lot of consultation going on here with the referee half the Senegalese team has gone off the field center if they can get the ball across to him and well it was not far away that again nobody seems to uh, jump to try and end the ball clear in the Nigerian defense they're almost all ready for the ball to drop on their heads That is the end of the first period of extra time. Nigeria now have the lead. Akahawa's goal in the first minute of the second half. Kamada waiting for any support to get in the middle, but it's still painfully slow. Sunday. They've really got to apply some more pressure somehow. Dafi Day has pushed into the middle of the field to at least give some more support and at least not allow the Nigerians complete free run of the proceedings in these final 10 minutes. That's Amoniki. Amoniki continues his run. Amoniki is through the middle. That was a brilliant ball through by Akahawa. Superb ball. And Emmanuel Amoniki, who's been out for so long, two years with serious injury, now in a major contract dispute with his club Barcelona. Rolling back the years there with great piece of vision. Now, there's problems here involving Okacha. Now there's been a running battle throughout the best part of this second half and throughout the second half of normal time and Okacha has been shown the red card swinging an elbow and he's been told to leave the field and uh, slightly ironic applause from Okache. He will now miss the semi-final should they get there. It's been a tame effort in these final 15 minutes by Senegal, but they've really given it their all. And now Hyundai will look back at that chance he had early in the second half and that is finally it. Nigeria have overcome Senegal at last but it's taken them 120 minutes to do so and they did not look like potential champions in that performance.
tactically Senegal got it right for 85 minutes tied Nigeria up allowed them possession in the middle of the field but very few chances they nicked a goal through Fadiga and it was five minutes from the end before Agahawa got them level now we have uh, Thursday afternoon 16.30 CET, 15.30 UK time, the semi-final.